Oh, did you now? Some stuff, so I just did a um, mobile uh, drive through like a drive order. So I'm just gonna go there and pick it up. So excited! And I have my hair, I have like a little headband on. I was debating if I was just gonna wear it without a headband, but I decided no, I think it's gonna be good with the headband on. So I, I don't know, know. I'm trying it I out, figuring it out. Anyways, check you guys later. Hey guys, so I cut my bangs. And I, as you can see, I dyed my hair. Um, you've noticed that, you've probably noticed that already with the um, Good Friday vlog that I just posted up. Um, and yeah, so I've, I did cut them because my bangs were like getting really long. And <clears throat> it was just getting too long. And to be honest with you, I'm so happy that I dyed my hair black because like it washes out so quickly every time I wash my hair and I was worried not worried but I was always like conscientious that it wasn't like my own hair wasn't matching the you part hair wig very well so I went ahead and I just decided to cut dye it black and it was a really awesome decision for me to do that um and then today I went ahead and I just cut my bangs. I even cut Lynn and Rita's bangs because they were really long, if you noticed in um, the last vlog too. So anyways, I did cut it, but I was also thinking about my days when I don't want to wear wigs. I mean, I, I mean, want to wear my bangs. So cutting them has definitely made a big huge difference but you know I just thought like what if I want bangs out of my face so this is what I'm looking at is just pinning them back like this so because there are days where I don't want to wear I don't want to wear a headband either you know like you know just I don't feel like the need to so I thought of just kind of tucking back some of my little hairs like here so like if I was to pull it fully back you're not going to notice my 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 actual short pieces in the front so much um and it's just for those days that I don't want I just don't want like I just don't want to have I don't want my bangs um but I've also noticed if I don't want to um, tuck them in. I should always have like a little piece of the longer pieces up in the front so it can kind of mask these crazy little short pieces. And the other thing, if I want to do another look, which it's still with the part here, then just pin these back like so if I can get this right and kind of like what's nice is you get like a little hairstyle with this so you get like a little hairstyle so you get like that and you want to make sure too you're covering the extensions as best as you can Oh. Okay, 
and then I'm doing that. So, you know, it's fine if you just kind of pull it all the way back, doesn't matter. Or if you want to pull it to the front, you can. Or if you want to pull everything up to the front, you can. Um, but, yeah. But yeah, I, I thought that that was pretty neat to do. Um, I don't know, like after dyeing my hair black, I just feel, it just, I don't know, it just feels so nice to have black hair again. I thought I was, I was never gonna go back to having black hair because it's hard to get out the black hair, but I don't know, I really like the black hair. I'm really digging it and I feel like I can, I don't know, I can wear more loud colors with black hair, I don't know. Like when you wear, like, when you wear blonde or when you wear brown, brown, you can wear any color too. But I feel like the contrast with like, you know, I'm wearing this like burnt orange red shirt, but with the contrast of this color and then with the black hair, it looks really nice and it has that nice, um, color scheme to it um so i'm really glad that i dyed my hair black i really am even though it's getting closer to the summertime and it's spring so it doesn't make sense generally you go darker when it's winter time but i did the opposite uh, so um anyways and then i'm also using the waiver again the revlon waiver and I've, I know like a few vlogs before I mentioned that I wasn't, like I had to mix this one on a curling iron to kind of blend everything together. But all I really had to do was just up the heat, which I know sometimes that's not very good for your hair. But if you use heat protected spray, which I've done, um, it kind of blended a whole lot better. It basically blended a whole lot better and you can see the waves better. Now granted, this, this um, half, this U-part wig that I'm wearing, it was also kind of turned into waves because I curled it earlier last week, this past week. And I just kind of refreshed it with the waver so that kind of kept its, you know, kept its, you know, shape. So, but when I waved it with my own hair and I washed, you know, I, I did, and um, my hair never really stays, like if I waved, if I used a curling or I used a waver the night before, the day before, and then, I, and then the following day, the waver doesn't, the hair doesn't really <clears throat> keep that, that curl or that wave for very long. Um, so I have to, it's sometimes, that's why it's, sometimes it's irritating that I have to curl my hair a lot more than I would like to. So that's why like sometimes if I don't want to curl it, I would just kind of pin it back like this. So I don't have to worry about blending it so well. So this is like a nice hairstyle for like get hair out of your face. And then also on top of that for like you not needing to curl it. So again, I feel like this is a good hairstyle just in case if I don't want my bangs. Um, and also it kind of helps me hide these pieces. Now, if I'm not using these bobby pins and I have this hairstyle on, I just have to make sure to have a pe like some of the longer pieces up front so it can kind of mask and help mask the shorter pieces. And again, again, this is another reason why I really like it black because black really like having it all black it really does kind of make that one seamless look to it i don't know what it is with black hair if it was lighter colors you would see it more um you don't see it as as much with darker hair so i feel like i can blend it a lot better so that's another reason why i like that's another reason why i'm I like dyeing my hair black. I liked that I dyed it black because then it has more of a seamless look to it with the waves and the style. Got, 
Hey everyone. So yeah, there you go. All right, all right. So it is definitely not um, a weekend, uh, but I'm finishing it up as a. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna call it first week April vlog or something like that. Um, I called out today. Um, but it's because my, both my girls are a little sick today and I don't know, like Lynn's first started, started getting it. And then I'm like, well, maybe it's just allergies cause it is out, out allergy season. And then JB, my hubby was starting to get it. And then my, and then Rita started getting it. So I just wanted to kind of keep an eye out. And so I didn't know if it was going to get any worse and the weather was really bad today. So I was like, you know what? I just want to kind of keep them. I just want to, I feel better. Just a mama at ease kind of feel just to kind of see how they are. And, um, I think she should be fine for tomorrow. It's just, I just, I don't know. Every time when, when I'm seeing more than one person that's getting sick, I get a little bit more, on edge a little bit and then I also get a little bit more on edge when I start seeing weather kind of creeping up and so I just I think it's just best that we all stay home today um so it is what it is um but that's just the that's just what I wanted to do and while I was at home because you know I'm not going to go anywhere um I was checking up on my I think I need to cut this. So I'm actually checking up on my, um, this older wig. This wig, believe it or not, is about three years old, roughly, I think. I think, yeah, it's about three years old. And, and there you go. Oh, that actually looks a whole lot better. See, just getting that cut. Um, so I'm just kind of basically updating it, as you can see. Um, this was, I always feel like this is kind of like my, my the wig that kind of gives me luck because this is a wig that I wore when I had the interview for, you know, for the, um, for the county I've been, that I've been working for. And so I feel like, you know, I wanna add some more luck into my life. So I thought like, what if I try this out? See how it looks. I mean, again, it's a full wig. Sorry about that. So anyways, and so I kind of wanted to kind of see if I could wear this again or if it's still good. I mean, is it still wearable? Um, again, I did, I did wear this um, and I did wash it and how I knew I washed it is because the bangs are just total crazy. Um, and I, went ahead and um, kind of straighten it, but I'm gonna kind of straighten it a little bit more. So I'm gonna kind of show you that, how I'm doing that. It's just the top portion I feel, like the bottom part is pretty straight. When I straightened the bottom part, it went pretty well. But I'm gonna do the top portion because I feel like this portion here just needs to be um, straightened more. So that is what I'm doing. And again, this is all human hair. Um, at one point I had many different colors with this wig. In the very beginning, it was like a dark, it was like almost like a natural brown to a uh, natural black to like dark brown. Um, it said black on the little advertisement um, part about it, the little ad on it on um amazon because that's where i got it again i did cut bangs into it so it wasn't already with bangs um what else what else was new about and then yeah so and then what i wanted was i was getting kind of tired of the color so i i dyed it i think i bleached it i bleached the bottoms of it then I, cause I was trying to do blonde. It didn't go as well as I was hoping. So then what I did was I dyed it. Um, then I dyed the bleach parts red. So I had it red for a bit. Then um, 
Um, and then I kind of, I think, and that was pretty much it. And then I got kind of tired of that. Then I went ahead and then I dyed it dark, like a dark, um, pretty much I dyed it black. And then I was like, okay, well, what if I just don't go full blonde with it? Cause I know it'd be kind of hard to go full blonde. So what if I just kind of do like a nice little brown ombre part? And then I did that. And then I also was like, well, what if I added some other extensions to kind of have it like a, a medium blonde. So I got, you see some pieces of blonde in here. So I did that as well. And I feel like that really gave it new life. And then after that, then I, I did the bangs because I felt like I was so, see, you can see the difference, super straight on this side and then kind of like wonky or wavy here. Um, but I felt like I couldn't really do a lot with it. So if I wanted to do like an updo with it, I couldn't do it. If I wanted to do like a half up, half down, it would look kind of funky with the middle part. Cause again, it was a, it was already a, um, a definitive, like there's no way of making this side part or anything like that, or even really closing it. So, um, I definitely wanted like a different style to this wig. And so what I did was I made bangs into it. And I do feel like putting the bangs had really add a, a style to it. So if I do choose to kind of do like a up down, uh, like a half up, half down, or if I choose to do a a low ponytail, it wouldn't look like weird. I don't think it'll look pretty nice. And I always feel like when you do like when you have a parting right down in the middle, and then you don't have any like bangs or hair in the front it just looks or at least on me i feel it looks really awkward so that's why i went ahead and i did do the whole bangs thing but then and then i stopped wearing it because i wanted to be more blonde and so and i knew this was kind of it's kind of like a lost cause i knew i couldn't really do anything with it really um i know it was like no there's no way of me trying to get this all blonde out so i chose to just leave it as is and then just store it and i'm glad that i did store it um i had another one that i was trying to alternate it with um but that one just got really altered big time i even cut it shorter and then you know after that it just got too much i don't know if I still have that. I don't think I do. I think I did um, either I threw it away because I don't think it was no way to be to salvage it or if I did feel like there's a way to salvage it I could have given it away. I don't remember really. Um, but yeah I just didn't. I just felt like I just couldn't wear this anymore. And then I was also feeling like it was getting hot. And it can get hot because it, you know, especially too, after I added more, um, hair to it, it definitely can get hotter. Um, but that's why I like, I wanted to also like, if it was getting too hot, definitely put it in a, um, put it in a, um, like have a certain style for it. And so that's why like, I felt like if I just kept it as a middle part, I mean, it is still a middle part, but if I just kept it in a style where I just have a middle part with no bangs or anything, I just feel like it just wouldn't look, just wouldn't look right on me. I really don't think it would. Um, but I love this wig. This wig is a awesome wig to wear. Um, I don't know if I ever wore this. To, I don't think I ever wore it to the school that I, that I'm working at now. I don't think I have. Um, but yeah, cause after I got hired, I, after I got hired with the County that I'm with now, um, and that was, of course I had the interview in Guam. Um, I stopped wearing it for a bit cause I wanted to be blonde. And so when, so I stopped wearing this and then I was 
blonde and then I went back to brown and all that good stuff. And then, um, and then I went back to red, all those, all those colors. I have my, I have my, I have my set of colors that I like to wear and which is good too. Cause now I have, you know, I have colors of like human hair wigs too, that I can, um, that I can, um, that I can like alternate. And so like, since I'm in the wearing black hair right now, I felt like I wanted to try this out and see if this is something I wanted to wear again. And I am thinking about it. I might just wear it tomorrow going to work again. Um, I don't know yet. I might do it. I might not do it. I don't know. But one thing I do like about it is the one thing I do like about it is, is that it is with bangs. So, and I have been wearing my, I have been wearing bangs lately, which is good. Um, and I do like the fact that I can interchange it with no problem. Um, and having that interchanging, um, like change it up a bit. I do like doing that. Um, I do like it. I do like this. It is, it is, it's a definitely different look, um, than what I normally, like, than what I normally wear. Um, cause I'm not a big, I'm not a big, um, like straight across, uh, with, uh, straight across bang wear. Um, unless I am wearing like a, like, unless I am wearing a wig, like an actual, like, lace front or a full capped, um, wig, then you'll see me wearing bangs. But if, if you see me wearing like extensions and stuff like that, you're not going to see me with a cross, cross set bangs. You just won't, um, just because it's hard to tame them. And because my portions of my hair where it's regrowing, those parts would help make the bang fuller. And because they're very, the hair that's growing back, they're very, very, very short. So it's best for me to just do side bangs at this point. Um, so yeah, so I don't know. I, I like this wig. So let me show you what it looks like off to the side. So it looks like this. So if I had it like this, that's what it looks like. What it looks like in the front side and then this is what it looks like on the back and then if I pull it all the way back that's what it looked like so again I do like it I like I like the length of it it's like a nice happy length it's not super long it's not super short um it's not like yeah it's just like good happy length so I'm kind of debating because the other wig that I've been wearing, I started to wear, um, this week when school started coming back when, um, after Easter, I started to wear a wig that's like the hair is like a little bit down here. It's all black, but, um, it's like a dark brown to black wig. And, um, the problem with that one, well, not, it's not really a problem, but um, it is longer and I'm like, oh, no, do I really like it? And I mean, I do love it. I love the wig. It's just, I feel like I have to do a lot more, um, conditioning for that wig. So like it does get frizzy on the end. So that's why I'm debating like, should I cut a little piece off or should I not? Because it's pretty, pretty frizzy at this, it gets very frizzy unless I, put some conditioning, um, stuff to it. So I'm kind of debating for that one, but anyways, um, this is my wig for, for today. I don't know if I'm going, to, I think I'm going to wear it tomorrow. I don't know. I'm still kind of contemplating about it. It does. It is a different look for sure. Um, and I think the reason why it's such a different look is because it's a full set of bangs. So it's like straight across. 
bangs. But what's nice is that there is layers to this, so it doesn't look too funky or anything. It's just, just do I want the full bangs or not? We'll see. Anyways, check you later. Bye. All right, guys. So I have decided I'm going to be wearing this tomorrow, and I'm excited for it because I am really liking it. I'm super duper liking it and it does just kind of come go with you know when you add like earrings to it or earrings to the mix like you put it all together it's like yeah I'm gonna wear it so I'm gonna wear this tomorrow this is gonna be my hair tomorrow and I'm making right now so this is gonna be kind of the ending of this vlog um I am making some soup because it's three o'clock I'm getting kind of hungry I had an early dinner early lunch today so I'm gonna have some soup and yeah, so you'll see me with this hairstyle time and time and again. So anyways, catch you later. Bye.